Christy from Shark Pixel here, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a visual representation about what my article is about this month. So as you can see, I've got my image here that I want to prep and um, tweak so that it looks the best it possibly can on my website. And as you can see from the f file name down here, I know because this is a trick, you know, that this is an Adobe 1998 color space image as of now. What I've already done is I've gone in and I've changed the DPI and the size of the image. So this is now a 15 inch file along the long side and it also is at 72 DPI. This is what the requirements are for my website and I'm going to take you through step by step on how we do the rest of the steps which I feature in my article. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is use this little hashtag locator thing to find an area in the image that I want to look at before I start sharpening. So this is nice. I've got my image zoomed to a one to one ratio zoom. So I know that I'm already at 100%. I know it looks small, but we are at 100% for this image. So what I want to start doing is using this sharpening amount slider to increase the sharpening on this image until I see something that I like. I, you know, I tend to, for my landscapes and stuff like that, go a little bit further with my sharpening. Um, because I'm sharpening a low resolution image, you can also go a little bit further. It's gonna make the images look nice and crisp on your website. So now that I've done the sharpening, and I have everything sharpened that I need, we're gonna move on. But first, before we do that, I wanna just touch really quickly on this masking slider. If I hold down the Option key and I click and drag along this masking slider, what it's going to do is show me where it's going to sharpen and where it's not going to sharpen. Any of the white areas that you see in this mask are going to be sharpened and the black areas are not going to be affected by my sharpen, which is a super cool little trick. For this image in particular, I feel like I shouldn't really mask out too much because I do want most of this image to be sharpened. I don't need this very slight gradient to be sharpened and I don't necessarily need the water to be super sharp. So that's why you know we are going to have a little bit of this masking up. Again, I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on a PC and click this masking slider to preview the mask to show where my sharpening is going to be applied. Okay, great. I love the way this looks now. So let's go ahead and hit Command or Control S to save our changes. And then what we're going to do is right click on this image and choose Edit in Adobe Photoshop 2015. I'm going to go ahead and edit a copy with my Lightroom adjustments here. And we'll go ahead and choose Edit. It's going to bring up our Photoshop. And at this point, what I want to do is basically increase the contrast as per one of my points in my article. The other thing I'd like to do is warm up this image just slightly so that when people are looking at this image on an uncalibrated screen, they get a sense of a little bit of a warmer tinge to the images, which is going to really make it pop off that super cool D65 color space computer screen, which most computer screens are. So what we're going to do is start with a curves adjustment and I'm just going to use this to actually clip in just a little bit on my contrast. So I'm going to add about five contrast and I'm also going to clip my whites just slightly to make that image look nice and dramatic. All right, that looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is come to my color balance here and I'm just going to make sure that I have the mid-tone selected and just come down here and just warm up this image just slightly because I know that most screens are going to have a color balance of a little bit of a cooler white so by basically overcompensating and turning this image a little bit warmer than I think it should be it's really going to look nice on a website. The last step I'm going to do here is come up to my edit menu I'm going to choose Convert to Profile, 
and I'm going to convert this image from Adobe 1998 to sRGB because I know that that is the best color space for images when viewing them online. So I'll go ahead and press OK and that's it. That's all you've got to do. This image is now set for web and it's going to look awesome on your website.